This is our best mate, Mark. <laughs> this is Lonnie. Ready? We'll try again, Lonnie. Ready? Do the hand movement again to Mark. My name's Kane. <laughs> this is our story of our first five months of sailing the seas. And we are so excited to share with you our journey. Hello everyone. We are now two months into our trip on Ocean Pearl and we have completed our training in Scotland and we just spent the last three days under passage from Oban, Scotland, touching base in Belfast for a few hours and then continuing the journey and we've just made it to Falmouth, back to Falmouth where we were a month and a half ago. Uh, we finished training, Mark finished his Yacht Masters and we basically started our journey and started our circumnavigation which is really really exciting and so today we are here in Falmouth and we're here for four days we're just finalizing all the little things like boat jobs ordering things that we need and today we are doing the boat job of oiling the decks here we go this is the beginning beginning of the new decks Dreamboat. Little deck inspection. Hello everyone, we've just spent a week in Falmouth preparing the boat and waiting for the correct weather and we have approximately three and a half days of good weather so we have decided to go for it. Goodbye Falmouth! We are crossing the Bay of Biscay from Falmouth to Acaruna in Spain. It'll be the first time Lon and I have ever been to Spain so we're very excited to see um, flamenco guitar and <laughs> dancing, traditional Spanish dancing and we're just excited to be on the move again. So we're obviously very nervous. We haven't crossed Biscay before or a big passage as a crew of three being these two, but we're well prepared. We have done two months of training, which I know isn't a lot, but two months of good training and we feel ready. So this is the start of the journey into the Med. So um, if you're watching, I'm gonna be filming our adventures in the Med um, throughout Mallorca, Menorca, um, Sardinia and Rome. They're the, they're the definites that we're going to. Also Spain, Barcelona. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, the Bay of Biscay is one of the most unpredictable sort of passages and it's very dangerous as the sea floor drops to 5,000 meters deep so you get really large and unexpected ocean swells. It can be full on so we could get out there and it could be really bad but the weather looks good so this is Falmouth to Acaruna.
This is coming to the end of day one for our passage. I went to sleep in the morning because it was Mark's watch and I slept four hours straight and then it was Lon's watch and then now it's my watch and I've just been waiting for the sun to poke its head out from the clouds for the end of the first day. I'm lucky enough to get the sunset while they're asleep. It's about six now. We've had beautiful weather so far. It's only 15 knots of wind and we have been averaging about seven to eight knots. We are motoring and sailing just to get there because the Bay of Biscay being the Bay of Biscay, we just want to get straight across. We're not, we're not waiting for the right wind perfectly. We're just motoring and sailing. So I consider myself a sailor, but I am a beginner sailor, absolutely. And I'm okay with that. By the end of this trip, I definitely won't be. I've been creating my own log and writing my own hours and I've already got I think it's about 800 hours and tomorrow morning I'll do another little vlog entry to update on what's happened um, but for now the sun is setting and it's been a good day so here's the sun Friday night? It's either Thursday, Thursday or Friday night, I don't even know. And I'm currently in the middle of the ocean at sunset time. Sunset time. Crossing a sea where I would usually be knocking off from work, doing the routine, eating, watching something on Netflix and sleeping. It's bewildering, if that's the word. It's astonishing and crazy that I'm, I'm sitting here but on watch by myself on a 60 foot ship doing a passage from England to Spain and that's become my normal reality. And three months ago, I'd sailed once for like four or five days, but it was very minimal. And it's crazy because it's just a realization that very quickly your life can change. And it all comes down to yourself. You have to create a vision, basically. Without a vision or without any form of direction, it's, it's just a, there's stagnation. And from stagnation, you get smaller. And I know that firsthand. It's not fun. So go out there and do what you want and get what makes you happy. That's some, a friend of mine who I was seeing once before I met Lon and I was a mess. I was all over the place. I didn't have any sense of direction or any sense of self-awareness of who I was and what I was doing. And she looked at me in the eyes and she said, Kane, get what makes you happy. That was it. Those five words changed my life because in that moment I realized it's only me that can actually do anything about my life. I can continue to think that other people need to help me or I can take the steps myself and you may think it's easy for me to say this whilst I'm sitting on a beautiful ship sailing, but it was a journey to get here. And it was hard and it was two steps forward, four steps back for three, three years basically, plus another two. Um, but I didn't let go and neither did Lon. I did let go of the dream every now and again. I'd slip up and I'd be like, why are we doing this? And Lon would snap me out of it very quickly and make, my, make me re-adopt a more firmer and more determined mentality as to what we want to do with our life. And I'm so thankful that she's done that because we're here now. So um, go and get what makes you happy, period. It's about 4.30 a.m. 
and I'm about to wake Kenny up for his shift because I've been up for nearly three hours now. Kenny, 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 do you copy? Over. So we are currently about 19 hours into We're currently about 19 hours into our two and a half day passage across Bay of Biscay. I had never heard of it before, but since coming over here, every time we tell someone we're crossing the Bay of Biscay, <laughs> anyone who's ever crossed it has said that they've never had a good crossing. The reason why the, it's always so sketchy crossing the Bay of Biscay is two reasons. There's a massive shelf in the ocean, so it goes from about 200 meters deep and then it drops down to five kilometers and that just causes the waves to crash up against them under the sea and ricochet back and creates a massive swell. Reason number two is there's a family of killer whales that roam around the area and like to attack <laughs> ships that go past them. I don't think they're attacking them. They're probably just playing and being curious, but for the sailors it feels like they're being attacked because there's orcas trying to rip your um, the tiller. Orcas, orcas have been known to rip the tillers off the boats as they go past here. Um, when Mark came past here on his last passage, they found Ocean Pearl, which we're on now, and they were just bumping her around for probably an hour, I think it was. Being curious, saying hello, but <laughs> I think it gets a bit rough, which scares people a bit. So we'll see if we see them. If so, we'll see them. Sal de tu nido, paloma linda, anda y prueba tu volar. No tengas miedo, mi palomita, que nada te va a pasar. Anda y prueba tus alas bonitas. Sin que el temor te limite, vuela paloma Good morning everyone, I've just woken up, Lauren has finished her shift, she is down here. Riding in her log and I just slept for 5 hours and 45 minutes and it's my turn again. So I'm on from 5 till 8 and then I can sleep again and I've got the beauty of the sunrise. Isn't it nice? Um, weather conditions, um, it's about 12 knots of wind. We are sailing and motoring still, full sail up. And the stay sail, uh, we're doing about 7.2 knots over ground. And the autopilot turns off every now and again, so you've got to stay on your toes. Um, we aren't quite yet at the real part of the Bay of Biscay where it drops down to five kilometers in depth. So I am anticipating that it's going to happen on my shift. And I am, um, well the conditions are really nice. It's, we, we couldn't ask for better weather right now, but I'm still curious to see if the swell changes drastically as soon as we hit that big um, drop in depth. So that is all to update for now. Hey. Hey. There's a pigeon on the deck. Yeah. Penelope. Penelope the pigeon. Yeah. She came flying from way back there like <laughs> Oh, she's all tied. It's a long way to be flying, Penelope. Believe it or not, we are in the Bay of Biscay and it's almost glass. We are not getting cocky, we are just celebrating the small winds because weather does change, but so far it's been like a lake the whole time. Mm-hmm. Kenny, what are you doing? I'm doing surgery on the chart plotter as we have left the UK and it needs a new little brain, a little SIM card brain. Where does this brain 
come from and what's it for? I don't know where it comes from, more than likely China. And it's for the Mediterranean. Me me Mediterranean. You a bit excited? I am. We're in the Bay of Biscay and it feels like Lake Tinaru in North Queensland. A lake, but it's not, it's an ocean. de tu nido, paloma linda, anda y prueba tu volar. No tengas miedo, mi palomita, que nada te va a pasar. Anda y prueba tus alas bonitas, sin que el temor te limite. Vuela, paloma, bien alto, mi vida, no dudes que siempre amanece. Amanecerá Paloma linda Paloma, paloma linda Paloma, paloma linda paloma, We are now about an hour away from Spain It's been a really nice passage of mostly perfect weather This is the roughest it's been And the wind is 12 knots So we can see Spain for the first time in our life It's Spain and we are very grateful that we have had good weather and it hasn't been crazy. Uh, it makes it a second crossing as a, as a crew of three and both passages have been perfect, almost glass-like conditions. So really comfortable and not crazy, which is nice. Tonight we're going to go out and find our first Spanish restaurant and we are going to rest for one day and then I'm going to continue down the coast and stop in Portugal two times and then go straight to Gibraltar, stay there for a night or two, and then straight up to the islands of Mallorca, 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 and Ibiza. So it's all happening. Bring it on. <laughs> ready? We'll try again, Lauren. Ready? Do the hand movement again to Mark. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> hey Lonnie, where are we? And what are we doing? We have found land. It looks like the coastline of Spain. <laughs> we have just crossed the Bay of Biscay. Apparently a very treacherous crossing. Yeah, but they're all pansies. <laughs> but when we did it, we've got ripples like this and it was lovely. And now we're about to hit Spain, and it's great. The weather's supposed to be nice and warm. Are we going to do some? Can. Are we going to do some salsa dancing, darling? You can. <laughs> and Mark's face is red. Very red. <laughs> very, very red indeed. <laughs> After three days, we are arriving in port at A Coruna in Spain, and this is the process of arriving into port. I haven't filmed it yet, so um, I thought I'd share it. So here we go. It's good to be in a new country. I am very, very excited. See how fast that was? That was fast. Stop. Honey, is there, is there a red light on? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's put in the headsail there, Brussels sprouts. Ready, Lon? Yep. Lowering. Oh, one nice flake. Okay, ready to drop? Well, I would drop the main thing. Okay, ready? Dropping fully? Yeah. Good, okay, dropping. Good. Is the port uh, side or side? About 12 meters, Mark. At six meters. Hello. Hello. My colleague. Okay. Ah, uh, you're about two two meters. Yep, you're on. That one out. 
Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did yeah, we do, Lonnie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made it across the We made it alive. We made it alive, kids. Yeah, it's just smooth sailing, isn't it? Now there's three tourists and not two. Yeah. Now that we're out of the UK. The UK feels like a <laughs> Church, we're in the old city. We're in the old city. Look at the cast iron. Oh, wait. All right, I'm having a beer. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. Oh, no. Drink this hot. Look at Ocean Pearl just sitting there waiting to be accompanied. We are in Australia, as you're probably aware of now. We've got a different um, figure here for this speaking. Lon's put a pelican there, so um, she's pretending to talk to the pelican instead of the camera. So maybe give her a little bit of support in the comments or something. So we did the Bay of Biscay and arrived in Spain and it was refreshing, like really refreshing to arrive in Spain and see a new culture and see new food and new smells and new sights. We ended up buying skateboards, that's coming in the following few episodes, and we skated around Spain and Portugal. That was really fun. Mm, that was so really fun. fun. So we'd get off the boat, get on our skateboards and oh, just explore cities. That was so good. We really, really miss it and we um can't wait for the time that we can return to Ocean Pearl. Um, what else can we say, Bunny? Um, you like what we're wearing? We are selling our silks online. We have been for two years now. And we are trying to sell enough silks to buy our own timber pirate ship. Mark is going to keep his beautiful boat, Ocean Pearl. But our dream is to get a timber boat. And the ultimate dream is to have our own timber boat and then Mark has his boat and then maybe one day we could fly from boat to boat. Who knows? We'll sail from boat to boat. Never, right. never be too afraid to dream big. So for the moment we are selling silks and raising money slowly to, to get our own pirate ship. To get our own pirate ship. So if you like the clothes we're wearing in any of the videos, feel free to check them out at thesilkco.com. And we'll put the link right... No, don't say that. Here. Put the link down below so you can find us. Silkco.com! Stop talking like that. <laughs> the next few episodes will be various places along the Spanish and Portuguese coast, and it was one of the highlights of the trips. We especially loved Portugal. The place was outstanding. Um, so, so prepare to fall in love with the coastlines of Spain and Portugal. Bye! Bye bye! That'll do, eh? Yeah.